to tell me the story, Mitch, what seems to be happening. You, you messaged yeah. me that you've been listening for quite a while. I have, yeah. Wow. Um, Thank you. I know. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it's been a couple of years, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, it was kind of around this time, actually, kind of the holidays, funny enough. But wow. um, yeah, so I guess why I wanted to schedule this with you. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. So something that I've been like experiencing that I wanted to see if this is something you also experience. Sure. Which is, as it seems like more and more of these belief systems, contractions, programs, etc. keep, they come up, they're seen, they fall away. It's sort of like this you could almost say like a purging kind of in a way, but um, I'm finding though experientially as a result of this, I'm struggling with like orienting in the world. Like even <laughs> this morning, I woke up, had coffee, had breakfast, did my whole thing. Yeah. And then like for an hour prior to our scheduled meeting, I like didn't know what, to do like nothing was coming to my mind like okay now go do this or go do that or and I'm off work today so there's no work and and so I just like sat down on the couch I'm like I don't know like nothing is coming to me like so I feel disoriented that could be it too you know that in in the experience of this although it doesn't really make sense you know what I'm saying um because it's almost like um I, you'll hear it a lot in my videos that often I'm very um absent-minded so to speak and um and or I'll leave you know for a walk and I not knowing that I've actually left for three hours thinking that it was like 30 minutes or 40 minutes or some characters you know they would listen to some of my um you know three day or four day you know on a long drive and quite panicked when they reached their destination and they're like how was that eight hours of driving and not really noticing anything so they, the character seems to leap in and out so to speak or completely blacked out you know from what's happening and and uh one particular one had they're like well i ate some food because i have some receipts from a fast food place so i did eat but i don't know how i got to my destination i was just listening to the thing and and um it's 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 inexplicable because it doesn't make sense um i've actually had tests you know, because uh, I thought it was like early dementia or something, so to speak, right? Because it's, I'm like, what's going on? And But it's, but I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. Um, even functioning in a, in a job, you know, that I had, um, it was hard to remember the, the step by step process. And that seems to be the, uh, the side effect of this so-called liberation. Um, although it's just a story again, um, it's seemingly, you know, it's like, my, 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 my little nieces and nephews laugh at me now because they see how absent-minded I am. Um, but I was really high-functioning before. And, it, and it, you know what? It doesn't really matter because there's this seeming freedom from, from getting caught up. I used to be an analytical uh, critic, skeptic, you name it. You know saying? I was I'd lived in my head 24-7, so to speak, and practicing, being aware. You know, any practice they give me, I'll, I'll do it like, perfect perfectly because that was the intention was to be able to um, figure out things but now that there's it, it's irrelevant in, in one of my talks I talked about you know like it was just everything that would come up will just go down the drain I'm like oh and it was almost some 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 of it was grieving a little bit because that was my belief system the whole system is is completely unstructured now it's like a dom like a, a domino kind of like happened, like it all fell, but I didn't know which which fell. So I'd be like, oh, I don't believe in that anymore. Or or even even it came to the to the words, to the very words that, that are being spoken. So at one point all I was hearing was blah 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 blah. Like you know, like that Charlie Brown, wah, 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 wah. It doesn't matter anymore. So there's the liberation from words, from belief systems, from ideologies from philosophy from anything at all and um so sometimes i just walk you know and and just in the wonder of whatever's happening so i don't even know what's happening 
So it's a big, I don't know. Yet these words are coming out, you know what I'm saying? From that space of not knowing. Um, that will appear as knowing, of course, you know, because it's full of stories and everything, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so maybe <laughs> people that have listened to this for a long, long time, especially those long ones. I don't know if you've listened to those um, two, three day event, four day event, you know, that it just, oh, you haven't even, oh, wow. I have not, no. No, no. So I used to do this when I was, you know, um, I used to do this 5D events and I did, did it in person. And um, I was completely shocked to see that some people were like, God, you know, after like they got wiped out, so to speak, and they could not find themselves. So I'm like, let me try it online. Let me try this. I've only done it one time. And that five day event seems to the, even the most um, hardcore seekers out there that have gone through it all seem to kind of like listen to that. And um, because it questions everything, it questions the belief system. Where did that stem from? The words, the very words that are being used. Um, yeah. What else is happening? So that the, the long answer to that one is, yeah, you know, it's very similar to a lot of characters experience. Yeah. No one has crashed or no one has got into an accident yet, but you know, it's. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's true. And it's funny because I work remotely for my job and um, I have not driven. So after our session today, I will be getting in my car to drive somewhere. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. Like, I've been driven in a couple of days and I'm like, I hope it's going to be okay. And it will be, but I'm just it like, be, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Like experientially. Yeah. yeah. Again, you know, if you really look at this without any thoughts and everything, we're just really doing this autonomously. Everything is happening automatically. And um, I've been kind of like talking to a couple of neuroscientists about no free will. And it's the same thing without the thought there's really no free will. They did a whole bunch of tests. You don't even have to do a test. It's just it's just obvious. It becomes more obvious and obvious that the thoughts are irrelevant about this. Seeking is irrelevant about this because it already is. It's almost like this, this fog that the you is a fog, basically. And when it clears up, there's it's it's not there. Yeah, that's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's like a or it's like a, a cold, you know? <laughs> that, yeah. That, yeah. If you notice it, right, it's kind of like a, a congestion. The me is a congestion. And and um, when it's not there, you don't think of it. But it, there's nothing wrong with it at the same time. So even the effort of trying to get rid of it is just futile because it's, it's not really there. No, like even as, even over the past, like, 45 seconds of you speaking like I like <laughs> literally blacked in and out and it goes on a lot I'm like oh my gosh like it's crazy but I guess like I wonder like scientifically if it's there's less grabbing on to the illusion of density yeah. and so there seems to be this like delayering and then there's just more space which it's the space, I guess. yeah, the space, this really spacious nose in it, right? There's just this, you can't explain it, but it's just, it's like the blockages are, you know, the congestion, the blockages, the uh, the um, contraction is just, it's not there. It's not there. Yeah. Hmm. It's not there, you know? It's, it's so weird. It is. <laughs> 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 so seemingly in this story this is what everybody wants oh yeah so, okay something it's wow. very ordinary it's very ordinary isn't it it is I, I get i get calls like this all the time you know like people that i've been listening to you for quite a while and something something seems off but it's not it's what they usually say you know we usually have a talk like this and they're like oh, okay i'm not seeking anymore because I tried to listen to your videos and it's just very clear now. You know, it's not it's not riddled anymore or there's no more colon or whatever. Right. Yeah. Is, is that what's happening too? It's like you listen to one of the videos and it's like, okay, it's just ordinary now. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, it was actually, yeah, because it was like a couple of years ago too when it was weird. It was 
you, your channel came across my feed and then right around the same time as Jim Newman. Yeah. And then I listened to one Jim Newman talk. Yeah. And I was like gone. Yeah. I could, either, it was like, I could feel it going. Go, and then I was just gone. I was like, oh, there's yeah. no person here. Yeah. And then it was like kind of this, these contractions and layers, like we're saying then free to flow out and yeah. be gone. It's, it's just almost like there's this transparency now. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it's like that it's see-through now. You see through the veil of the words and the concepts and the idea. It's flimsy, the belief system. And you know it doesn't doesn't attach anymore. It it it, it goes. There's no more continuity. So the biggest illusion is the continuity, that there was a you and you know, um, and it's and that's what becomes really evident um, and obvious that there's no nothing that's continual, so to speak, that appears um, to um, have a past. Does that make any sense? It does. Yeah, yeah. I hear that. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, look like if I were to like retrieve memories, I look back on my life and I'm like, God, that was at the root, my unknowingly when I was asleep, so much pain and suffering. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It, it's almost unbelievable now what you believed before, right? You know, like all of those... Even those historical ideas of you, it's like, did that even exist? It's 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 almost like a phantom. Um, yet it evokes, you know what I'm saying? It's still, it still evokes real, but what's even real? What's even reality now? It's just another belief system, isn't it? It is. And even to say, what is this reality? They're just sounds coming out of this mouth. Yeah, They're that's happy. what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean when it, it's clarity without any compromise, without any explanation, without any kind of distraction. It doesn't even have to be radical non-duality. It doesn't even have to be anyone's communication. Although it's clear that there's really no one anywhere. Right. Yeah, and then, but and not this, by logic or reason. It, it, it cannot be reasoned out or logically. You know what I'm saying? Because the logic and reason, it's just another. See, it's just another belief system. Right. So that walls that walls have crumbled down, and it's just a spaciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guess even going into concepts and beliefs of like, well, then why are we here exactly yeah 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 it, it, there's no reason for it isn't it no because there's no landing there's no purpose even and there's no reason and there's no cause and that's what doesn't make sense there's nothing causing this there's no source to this as an idea that seems like there's a source to it but that's just another idea isn't it yeah yeah even to <laughs> say like the, use the words I've heard used from other people, like the great mystery. It's like still yeah. concepts. It's all concept. There's no way out of the concept because the moment that you open your mouth, it's conceptual. You know, it, it, it's even a sound is a concept. No sound is a concept. So whatever you say is a concept. Even if you don't say anything, it's a concept. But what is cannot be conceptualized. Right. <laughs> you can't. Pro you can't process it. No. No. Right. I because even to say that which is prior to the processing is still trying to process. <laughs> oh, it, it, even prior is just another. You know, or even you when you say energy is prior to this. What's that even? You can't even use the word energy. Can you? Try it. No. I mean, no. why? It's like, what even is that? Can you, can you process contracted? 
what's that even too, right? No. Right. <laughs> you can't really say anything about this, can you? Now it's unspeakable. Yeah. But yet it appears as these words. It's also in the words, you know what I'm saying? So it's never not, it's always it, no matter what it is. And that's saying way too much. Right. So then I guess in this, having said all this within this, we just do whatever we do whenever yeah. we do it. And, and that's the freedom, right? If you if you if you know if you're gonna be farming or you know it doesn't matter um gardening or working at you know at a six figure job or something it's the same thing there's no one choosing there's no one behind it hmm. it's it's completely irreproachable there's no one choosing but yet it appears as choices see how how um complex and simple it is at the same time there's no one simple but there's choosing happening seems to be complex but because there's no one so choosing is just an illusion or anything that said is an illusion it's like a dream um you know it's kind of like waking up from a dream but there was no dreamer right yeah Mm. it's funny right when it's funny when i talk about this it's like it's almost like oh my goodness there's nothing that i can say that can change this so sometimes i go into some poetic whatever you know uh, (laughs) and just gushing out about this and everything and sometimes it's just very bland talking It, it both are equally um pointless Because there's nothing that I can say that can capture this. There's nothing that I can do to provoke this. It already is, no matter what it is. There's just this um, blankness that's all-encompassing. There's this emptiness that's in everything. There's this unknowing that cannot be known. So it's funny, the moment that I say a word, um, if you notice in my talks, if you've been listening for, for a couple of years, I change words all the time. Like sometimes I'll, I'll say that it's just all this unknowable. And then one talk, I'll be like, it's emptiness, silence and flip-flopping. But it's not even that before I end the, the, before I end the talk. Don't get caught up on that because it's just another word. And and it's easy for you know for um, some, some people that have been listening to Radical Non-Duality to get caught up in nothing they believe that it's nothing but nothing can't even be thought about can you think of nothing try it no how can there even be something if there's nothing exactly yeah it's not even nothing it's not even everything it's not a word there's no landing so to speak you know it just can't be caught but it doesn't need to. See, that's the thing. It doesn't need anything. It's in everything. It's in every whatever, but it's also nothing. But it, it, it's like the moment that someone can capture this, the mind will explode because there's no mind that can capture this because the mind is a construct. This cannot be constructed. This cannot be created. This cannot be conceptualized. This can't be known. So I find it just hilarious when when someone's talking as if they know it. It's the biggest joke. I don't know if you see that. Like, you know, um, and and they they don't even know that they're bullshitting, but you know. Yeah, I've seen it. You've seen it, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do you, do you see now why I laugh a lot? It's 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 just absurd that I'm talking about this, right? I know. It's like 
there's no talking about it. No. How? I mean, just like everything falls away, even just like old, like new age concepts I picked up decades ago about ascension. Yeah. And, I mean, all of it, it's just like, it's, there's. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense anymore, right? Someone, mm -hmm. um, a, a friend of mine tried to kind of like said, hey, I, I want to do a reading for you. I'm like, oh, no, no, that's okay. Like a, a tarot reading or what I want to do. Astrology doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not needed. But yet, it's, it's just what is as well. Like, you know, there's really no judgment. It, it's, it's kind of funny now that people are get, getting caught up in twin flames and ascension and all of these concepts and everything. Um, all of these belief systems. And there was a time that I was caught up in twin flames. And, of course, I suffered greatly because I believed that I was with a twin flame. <laughs> right. It's just right or the seeking for that it's just it's just seeking for something that doesn't not that's not need does not need to ha doesn't have a, an opposite twin is an opposite any idea is an opposite or or even or people listening um you know about um that listening that always ask me about how about the law of attraction or um it does no sorry you know saying it's it's hard to be really honest, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but what what this has, you know, speaking about this has made a completely honest character. That it's really nothing. It, even if it hurts to say to someone that's been manifesting, I'm sorry, but it's also made up. Everything is made up. There's nothing that's made up. And, you know, how about this? How about that? How about ascension? How about the Great Awakening? How about this? This is all made up. It's it's like a sober talk. Yet, there's nothing to know. It's already this, but that's even saying way too much. It's like sobriety, isn't it? You yeah. You struck sober, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. The intoxicating ideas about enlightenment is gone, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. it's not there. No. But it was not there in the first place, too. It was never there. Okay, here is a question that's seemingly left of center. <laughs> like, okay, so I think, okay, like I'm 33 years old, I'm single, and I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to meet someone. And then I'm like, I don't even know if I could do it like I don't know if I could do a relationship <laughs> in the whole thing it's like weird to me I'm like I don't even know it's weird to me too to be honest you know what I'm saying if it happens if it happens if it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter it's it there is a um a contentment that seems to be evident now if you know what I mean right there's just this contentment no matter what seems to appear did I just pause there Oh yeah, I can, you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> Video. Okay, there we go. Okay. Mike. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it it's it's because that idea, any idea for that for that matter, seems just to crumble. This, there's this idea that I had to be always, I was a serial monogamous. I was always in a relationship, so to speak. And that idea even crumbled. But yet, I'm very content and happy. If you know what I mean. Are you, are you in that now too? Like it's, it's. Yeah. It's merging into that. Yes. Because that whole yeah. conception framework of like a relationship is going away. Yeah. Sorry, my camera seems to okay. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on disappearing. Sorry about that. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, it's 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 just an idea. And then if 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 you meet someone too, and that's completely cool too. 
it's not avoiding it's not it's not really like um a rejection or an acceptance it is whatever it is and for some odd reason and, 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 and later on it's easier to meet you know what i'm saying apparent others it might feel weird that you know in the beginning so to speak because there's really no one there but somehow there's also sobriety with that i don't have yeah. um i don't have um insecurities outside of an idea so i had a lot of insecurities before and um so there's a lot of trying hard so to speak you know and now you know like if you go to a place and people see that you're just whatever empty it's more attractive for some odd reason and um and my friends are like what what are you what are you doing lately you know like it, it, there's something that has changed about you i'm like i don't know <laughs> yeah the, the longing and the seeking is gone right so there's no more there's no more desperate character so to speak that seems to be right and then when there is a character that you meet that seems to be um you know um how do I say this in a, in a kind in a kind way? That seems to be all over the place. Then you don't really engage in it. You see it for what it is. Interesting, because for many years and years past, I was that person that you speak of and was unsuccessful in um, attracting slash being with people. So yeah, but, uh, <laughs> not on with that. <laughs> That's a good yeah. side effect, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it is a good that, side. that seeking energy, that desperate, right? It's like, you know, um, like for example, going to a bar, like I, I just go as as it is, you know what I'm saying? There's no more trying. And somehow, you know, more people talk to you. It, this is more attractive. And again, this is just a story. It can appear as whatever. Um, but it, it's there's no more kind of like desperation. Uh in in, in this apparent story. I guess desperation reeks. Yeah. It stinks. <laughs> and, it <does>. then, <laughs> and then you meet other desperate characters, cities, so to speak, and then you're kind of like, oh, I don't want that. Very good point. Yeah. Yeah. It's really bizarre. It's really, really bizarre. But now there's just this contentment that there is whatever it is. And it's and it's not since no one's really in a relationship. It's not focused on trying to build a relationship that is from thin air um, or, or by passing a whole bunch of stuff that seems to create this idea of what it should be. So interaction seemingly, yeah, in the beginning might be really off because, you know, what, all of a sudden you can't talk to spiritual people anymore. People that are full of beliefs. But at the same time, it weeds out a whole bunch of characters that you're wasting time with. So, but there's no time as well in the story anyway, right? So it's there's there's this um, radiant um, contentment. It's just content. It's just at ease. It's relaxed, and it's seemingly kind of like you know the, the the relationships that really matters are still there. But this the the uh, what do you call those? Um, those rest for uh, relationships based on beliefs fall apart. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any, a lot of friends in a spiritual community, so to speak? Not currently, no. 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 I, uh, I have like one close friend at the moment. Um, over the years of sort of this whole thing, it's like, as I fell away, so did other people. It just was like, I can't sustain or maintain a lot of these relationships. Once falling away is what happened. It just was like, I can't do this yeah. anymore. Yeah. Totally, totally. Um, I had um, I did a one on one with someone that did not even know that they were in a in an abusive relationship, 
So a year, a year later, called me, goes, hey, Emerson, after one on one, I've, I've, I've been single and I've been really happy. I didn't even know it, but I was in a, an abusive relationship, physically and emotionally. I'm like, oh wow, and 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 she basically said, one day I just left because there's no one, you know, there's there's no more entanglement when anything. She goes, I don't have any relationships. I don't have any, and and right. that was quite crazy. And I said, are you in a relationship right now? He goes, I am, but not really. But there's no more codependency. That's the word that I'm looking for. The codependency dro- goes away. I was desperate, you know, as, a, as an insecure character to give the apparent energy away to someone and uh, hoping that it would be reciprocated. But that rarely happens, so to speak. And... Uh, in the story because there's a seeking and someone supplying so it's almost like a it's like an addiction so to speak that seems to just i'm sober now from that and it was just this endless supply of 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 trying to um of addiction basically trying to feed the addiction that's what it is to me it's like an addiction the character is like a it's like a like a cold that needs to be um, maintained. So the moment that it, it 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 seeks, it maintains it. The moment that it thinks it maintains it. But at the same time, there's nothing to maintain because it's really not, it's not even there. Just like I almost like almost sometimes it's like a dark cloud has been lifted. Or the other one that I use is like carrying a backpack for so many years and you're like, where did I put that backpack now? It's gone. Like all the rocks, you know, like it's heavy sometimes. You're like, oh, I hate this life. I, you know, why can't I find the perfect partner? Oh, why don't I have the perfect job? So all of that just, I don't know where, where that went. Where is it? Yeah. yeah. The obsessive qualities, the neurotic qualities also yeah. fueling that. They're just like gone. Yeah. And it gets crazier and crazier because um, I was a very, um, um, the character is a very introverted character. I don't even know what that, that means anymore. There's still some of that, but it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's not even a label anymore. It enjoys being alone. It enjoys, you know what I'm saying? But also when it, what's in an, aud- what's in an audience now, which I do every week, it's okay as well. It, it's just freedom. It's just freedom that I can't explain what it is. It's just freedom to be whatever it is. So there's still a character, but the character is also freedom. There's nothing wrong with the character anymore. I tried to fix the character so many times before meditating, self-improvement, you know, watching everything that I say. And it, it just fell apart because it, it, it was just maintaining something that's not there. And there's no choice as well. And that's what was really weird. I'm like, oh my goodness, there's no one choosing to do any of this. So that instant, um, the character had a lot of guilt, a lot of shame for quite a while that I cried. I was depressed almost every night, you know, guilty about anything that I did. So when that was wiped clean, I was like, what the hell? Where did it go? I could not find that. Is that what you're finding as well? I am like a few weeks ago and it seemed like things really took a turn of, of accelerating, you could say. Yeah. Um, I had this thought that I've had like a million times, which is like, oh, I just hate my life. But yeah. then I'm like, I don't have a life. No. What's life even? Right. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's one, just... of, one of the videos that I did um, that was completely hated by characters is there's no personal life. And people were like, what do you mean? Because it, 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 it triggers a lot of characters because they think they have a life. They maintain that life and, and the seeking is a part of their life. So when it's exposed that there's no life, no one having any life at all, then um it it it's hard to maintain that, you know, um lie. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's just maintaining a lie, isn't it? That you have a life. But you don't even know that you're maintaining a lie. And then when you see that that's a complete fabrication, you're like, oh. 
to another life. But also the reverse of that, there's no more zero fucks given. You know, it's just authenticity that just completely kind of like, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Nothing matters really. No. How can it? Yeah. It's funny because the past week I've been getting a lot of characters that have booked one and ones. Very similar story to yours, but it's either this. It's either they have been seeking for a long, long time and they're tired of it. And then go all out. You know what I'm saying? And saying that, okay, you know what? Let's just go all out. And there's just, you know, it, it's it's like they book several times, you know, and it's like, let's just finish this. There's nothing that I will say that will get you there because there's no one here to do anything outside of a thought. Um, and then there's your the character like you that's saying that, I don't know what's going on, but nothing's going on, so to speak. <laughs> I don't know okay. what's happening, but nothing is happening. I or or someone said that I watched your five day thing and I just zapped out. I I don't know what to think anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. sort of what it is. Like I was, it was like like two or three days ago. I was in bed at night to go to sleep. I had all this like contra contracted sort of anger coming up, unprocessed stuff. Yeah. So it is out. And it got so intense that I just asked, like, I mean, is this even for real? Like, here I am laying in my bed. I'm so angry. There's nothing to be angry about. Like, what is going on? And then I'm just like, this is this even real? And then it just, that yeah. seemed to whatever reason, take things. And it's gone, isn't it, right? It's not even there. It's even contracted energy is just a thought. Right, right. Yeah. And and I was for quite a while. I thought it was this contracted energy, and that was my identity. The reason I could not drop away is because I was contracted energy. And then, and it was just this really one day that that I I don't even know what even happened. But at one point, I was just DJing, and I was like, "There's no one doing any of this. What the hell? I can't find Emerson because you know we 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 go into this. We don't even notice it because there's no one there really to notice it. And that's that's the, the trick right that we do things like we're cooking we're cleaning and you're like oh the house is really clean now excellent we don't even think of it but the whole time that you were doing that there was no one there you're listening to an audiobook like walking and you're like you know i used to put an audiobook and i'll be doing my laundry and i'll be like oh my goodness it's it's all done you know like it's it's like three hours of laundry and uh this is when i was really particular i used to iron everything that's how um, neurotic I was. I was ironing everything, even underwears. And, you know, so th those three hours are, are like, where did it go? But there's no Emerson there. It's kind of like how there's no mix in any of your doing and everything. Even when you think of it, it's just it's just another thought. And people get 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 triggered sometimes when I say that it's just a thought. They're like, no, no, but there's sensations. But the moment that you say sensations, that's just a better thought. The framework of the whole character is just a thought. And it's 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 like, well, it can't be that easy. It's that simple. Isn't it? You see it? Yeah. Every yeah. single thing is a thought. Yeah. But there's no every single thing because that's just a thought. Right. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it is. It's wild. It's thoughts all the way down. Like, you know, there people were like, um, you know, like the, the argument about the planet is the, the silly argument that the earth's flat. They're like, well, how is it flat? What's holding it? They're like, well, it's a, it's a giant turtle, of course, is holding the, this planet. And what's be beneath it? Well, it's turtles all the way down. Duh. It's like, how can a me um, be real? Well, there's a thought beneath it what's behind that thought well it's thoughts all the way down exactly yeah and it's crazy right because it's it's so simple so it's not about i i you know what it was so funny because prior to prior to the 
seeming, you know, nothing really happened. I was a mess. I was like, I was like crying, guttural crying, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, why, you know, everything that was seemingly wrong was coming up. And then it came out empty. I'm like, what the hell? So it's almost like insanity happening. Did that happen to you too? It's like these feelings that would like be so intense and you're crying and you're like, oh. Yeah. I, I, used, just I used to look at myself in the mirror, you know, and like watch me cry. And I would laugh at the end. Yeah. So dramatic. So dramatic, the character. Like, what the so hell? Dramatic. Everything's so dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like Jim said, he used to be a big drama queen, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's, that's that was me too. I was this erotic drama queen, you know what I'm saying? That everything, you know, um, easily triggered, you know, but trying to maintain, you know, the sanity to, to appear like, you know, that you're a high functioning character. Right. But the character was a mess, a mess. The seeking was a mess. It was just like, oh my God goodness like that that falling away that there's no process but it seemed like a I was I could not get out of bed um everything all of the things that I've said wrong or the stuff that I've done wrong kept on cycling back over and over again kept on kicking me in the butt you know and it was just like it was madness it was like I I even made this joke I'm like Dante's Inferno is nothing on me that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. For every, you know, that, you know, for every story it just falls apart, falls apart, falls apart. Every belief falls apart. And it's almost like a, um, it's like, a, a, it's like a purging, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it feels yeah. like. Yeah. It's like you you went on a it's like you're in a rehab and everything that you're holding on to your addictions of story you don't want to let go and then it goes and then it's it's this crying or this contractedness and you know, and at the end of it you're like oh what was that and then all of a sudden for no apparent reason it's not cost or anything it's just like am I even here yeah yeah. But there's still a sense of, even a sense of reality, the sense of, you know, this tactile, you know, saying this appearance and everything. Although one time I was like walking and I passed by a mirror. I'm like, what's that? It was my reflection. I could see how though, easily. Yeah. It's like <laughs> shocking. It is. Itself when you're not really like into yourself. No. And, and and I I don't take myself seriously anymore. Like it's so funny, you know, when when it, it it's it's doing these videos, you know, when I do the videos and everything. Um, there's people that email me and emails me long emails like, how could you say that there's no one here? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, or or there's no no time or whatever. There was this guy that sent me like you know this long long kind of like time is an illusion. And and you just laugh at that because that's also just whatever you know what I'm saying it's 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 like a mosquito bite, ouch. That's it. It's just a bite. There's no thought behind it. It's like oh, those words are gonna nasty. Um, it's just what it is. Even the reaction to it is nothing. So basically, it's being at peace with no matter what. So people that that seem to write this, you know, long letters and everything, um, I don't even believe this because there's no one here that believes this. If you know what I'm talking about, this you is do. unbelievable. Yeah, it is. No one can hurt you. No, that's right. Yeah, and and I can't think of what this is, but it it, it is infinite. Without the thought, the thought seems to create this, this um, what do you call that? Um, segmenting of something that cannot be segmented. Math doesn't even make sense anymore. Does math make sense? Science? 
philosophy, religion, spirituality. It's all stories, isn't it? Even like as you were talking and it's like spirituality and religion, I had the thought and the word God in my mind, but there it, yeah. it was like, it's like here was the word and it just sort of like it, it, it <laughs> yeah. didn't even yeah. like, yeah, it was like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah, because at one point, that was the hard thing for me, was the um the seeing that my concept about God is dead. It, it, it's because I relied on that. That was my, that was my ride or die, my backup, you know, that, that there is a, an external thing that will save me or an internal thing that will save you. But when you see that there's no external or internal and there's no one to save, but yet no one is, no one is in danger yet no one will die, yet no one was born. And you're like, okay, so I can't think of it, but this is, is, this is the isness, or whatever you might want to call it. But the moment you call it something, then it becomes your idea of it. The moment that you tried that you got something, then it goes back into this intoxication. Oh, wow, I'm enlightened or whatever. So when it's seen that there's no one, it's just this. If there's no more separation, then there's really no enlightenment. You can also say that it's all already all enlightened. It does not require an understanding or a processing or an attaining. It's almost like a loss. It's like you know, constantly losing things that you think that you had like choice, like belief, like ideas, or being right. Yeah. I used to think I was right all the time. It's really yeah. humbling. It's really humbling that, that there's no one right or wrong. And not just by saying that, but by really seeing that there's no one right or wrong. And another thing that seemingly appeared is just the authenticity now of speaking about this because it doesn't matter if I say zippity doo da. It's the same thing, isn't it? It's not performative anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> no word that is less or more equal or better than or less like it's just there's no yeah yeah gosh wow well. yeah and like yeah and yeah like even like wants and desires it's like how could you want something when there's nothing exactly yeah and then this whole visceral yeah. wanting, needing, what I desire, that's going, it's just like disappearing. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is like a disappearing act, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's, 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 it's sober, but it's wild, isn't it? It's wild. It's almost like, um, the ideas about this pales in comparison because this cannot be thought of. But at the same time, it's very sober. It's very ordinary. Everything is in its right place, so to speak. There's nothing out of place, but it's chaos. Right. Yeah. If we were to like use words and theories, I mean... Is this why on um, what we call this planet, there is so much chaos and human beings hurting each other? It's like they're identified, they're believers, they think they're people, they think that's this is what it is. That's what it is. Like if you look at it, right? Like, you know, like um, I can't even watch the news because I just see it's just opposites at play and I don't see anything, you know, I don't have any sides anymore. I don't get caught up in that anymore. I, I, I think everything is hilarious. Um, 
I don't even know what's going on with the war and everything, you know, and I don't even know which side it is, but, you know, and it, and it sounds callous and everything. But when I see a, a, a boy, I, someone sent me a video of a boy crying. I cried with it, but I don't know what's happening. It's, it's a full on, you know, saying it, it, it's like I, I'm not invested in what's happening because there's no one in it too. But these emotions are also very upfront. It's very um, unfiltered. It's like being a child. It's like being a child again. Like, you know, you'll find, you know, the character more easy to cry and easy to laugh now. The seriousness will slowly kind of like almost, again, this is just a story, gradually, seemingly can like slip away. And then all of a sudden you're laughing hysterically at nothing. One of the things that was really crazy as I was looking at this, I, I got a, a, a brand new fridge from my mom and dad and there's just this double door, you know, and I was sitting in front of it and I was looking at it and I started laughing at it. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is And I was just in hysterics because I was laughing at this brand new shiny fridge, you know. And, but that's the same as, as laughing at someone, with someone. It doesn't matter. So from, from a, you know, I, I did a one-on-one -on -one with, with someone before and I'm like, if someone's listening to this, it, this is going to sound extremely crazy. This is, this is kind of like a, it's almost like you're in a, in a psychiatric ward, so to speak, because when you're saying that, well, there's nothing really is happening. And, uh, but it seems like it's happening, but that's saying way too much. And that's almost like the secret language is silence. But no one's silence, and that's what's the point is. It's just all silent. Do you have this, um, not as a hearing, but a, a constancy of this ringing silence now? It's, it's emerging more fully, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's always there, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's almost like deafening. It is. There you go. It's just it's just the, the constant chatter that that it, it's almost like it's almost like the um you know it's just an angle from one angle it's just all chatter but when there's no more angle it's just silence you're like oh shoot that chatter is silence. Yeah. It's irrelevant. Yeah. Right, right. And then what's also being, it's also what's found is that there's really no more second guessing or it will slowly fade away. It's almost like everything got in sync. Like, you know, like there's no one thinking behind here now that everything is just this autonomous, wondrous emptiness that it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have any reason. But it's like this this beautiful simulation with no purpose, with no programming, with nothing at all. It's just this full on blank. The moment you think of it, it's it's, it's impossible. It's just this, yeah. See, that's what I mean. Like it, 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 sometimes I'll talk about it and I'll run out of words. I'm like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd imagine so. <laughs> And I'm surprised sometimes. We, I don't really listen to my videos and everything, but sometimes when I edit, I'm like, oh, that's what was said about that? <laughs> yeah, it's like a miracle. It is, yeah. It is. It's nuts. It's nuts, right? It's, And not just when I speak, but in everything. It's Everything is a miracle. Like, even if you... It, and, it, and it's it, it's beautiful. Like for example, it's it's a solid illusion that seems real, because if you investigate it, which will be more illusion basically, then it will give you reality. Like for example, if you look at a bee, the complexity in that bee is 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 phenomenal, right? You know, like how is that bee flying? But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? When you're dreaming something, um, 
I was dreaming um, that my dog was also my cat. Yeah. At one point, it just kept on morphing back and forth into this dog, cat, dog, cat. So it was basically a combination of my cat and my dog. And, and you know, in, in, in the dream, I, I basically had this one creature that was a cat and a dog. It doesn't make sense. But if you research it in that dream, then you'll be like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's, you know, the biology of that thing. There'll be biology. There'll be whatever. It's like this. Like, for example, if they look at, you know, Mitch and cut him up and everything, they won't find a Mitch. But they'll find quarks coming in and out. If you go all the way. And then if you look, you know, if, if you look further away, then you'll just see trillions and trillions of sun. But there's also no one there. And that's not even there. That's just another idea. Wild, isn't it? Completely. And it's yet, and yet the characters get caught up in seeking about their own identity. Well, there's no identity or getting so, you know, transfixed with their life. And with the advent of social media, people have lives on social media that's completely not to say much their life that they're seemingly appearing from. And it's just fascinating. It's just fascinating. It's like, and it's, it's, it's so obvious that it's just illusory. Yeah. That's it's even like say, the ultimate it, illusion. Yeah. It's an all out illusion. It's full on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so obvious that it is, but the moment that you think of it, you, you think in reality. But reality is the, what did I say? Say reality is an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. So re reality basically is just substantiated by your thoughts about it. Without your thoughts about it, what's reality? Right. Like even to say we're on something called a planet, it's called Earth. And like, do I really <laughs> Trees, know Trees, grass, sky, you know, even the oh. colors, if you look at it, red, blue, what's that? Like, for example, if you're seeing this without thoughts, what are you looking at? Are you even looking? Is there even seeing? Or is this just awakeness? <laughs> I think that says it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nail in the coffin. Exactly. Nail in the coffin. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mitch. <laughs> thank you, Emerson. It was a pleasure to meet you real timed. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that <laughs> is. Very true. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, oh, Thanks. what happened there?